Hello everyone, Vic sharing with you today a layout that I've made for Lottie Loves Paper and I'm using the Doodlebug Cute and Crafty collection which has just come into the shop and this is my first layout with the collection. I absolutely adore it. All the super bright colours are just right up my street. I'm really loving um, creating rainbow layouts at the moment with all the colours on and this layout as you'll see will be no exception. Now for my background I haven't created that background piece of paper myself it is actually a piece of ready to use mixed media paper from one of the Vicky Booten pads. I'm really enjoying using these papers at the moment and they definitely are my go-to. It makes for super quick speedy pages and yeah I just I just think they're great and I thought the colours on this one here went really really nicely with the bright fun feel to the Doodlebug collection. So as the title suggests it is um, mainly craft themed but my first layout with it is a non-crafty page and I wanted to go with the title cute as a button. There's a piece of paper in that collection which is just covered in super super cute little buttons round ones and floral shaped ones and my idea was to fussy cut them out and add some twine or ribbon through them to make them look like proper buttons there are as you can see there as well um, a few cute ones in the ephemera pack as well so it all tied in really nicely and I thought it would work well with the title to scrap this photograph of my youngest Karis when I think she must have been about 18 months old maybe two I I'm, I'm, can't quite remember I think she might have been just two um, anyway I, I really love this photograph of her we'd gone to a naming day for a friend of ours um, little boy and they had a professional photographer there and I didn't realise that they'd snapped this shot and she kindly gave it to me and I, I just love it. Um, I'm not biased at all but I think she's beautiful and I just love her wispy hair and everything. So for me she was cute as a button so that's the theme I've gone to, gone with, sorry. So there we go, I've just fussy cut out lots of buttons and also taken out the ones from the ephemera pack and I'm literally just threading them, punching a hole first with my needle and then threading um, corresponding colour thread through those holes because I wanted to go with a tone on tone embellishment kind of layout and I thought it worked really really well. Now because most of the buttons are round that's why I've gone for a round photograph. I've backed that onto a piece of black cardstock and then just distressed around the edges. The reason I did that was because in my mind on rainbow layouts adding pops of black here and there really help bring the whole page to life and make those colours even more bright and vivid on your page. But because I was free stand, free hand cutting it all um, my border was a little bit wide and I couldn't be bothered to <laughs> trim it down so I added some pom pom trim which actually I really really like. Now I must apologise for the shadow being cast across the, my layout. I didn't realise that the sun had come out and it was casting a shadow from next door's fence across my page. So I am sorry about that, but hopefully it will um, go as the video progresses. But we shouldn't complain about sun, should we? Um, just making the most of this nice autumnal sunshine and keeping as much warmth as we can. So like I said I've gone with a circular theme because of the buttons and I've used two pieces of ephemera from I think they were from the different packs yes the the blue one at the top was from the bits and pieces ephemera pack and the other one was from I'm trying to find the name of it now was from the chit chat, that's the word I was looking for, the chit chat 
um, die cut ephemera piece pack. And that just helped keep that circular theme going across my page. A, a little bit of a diagonal. Now the page came together so quickly and easy for me just because I had that beautiful background um, mixed media piece of paper to start me off. And I'm loving how it's coming out. So I've raised my photograph up on some sticky back foam just to bring that to the forefront of the layout. And I think the pom-pom trim around it and everything really helps draw your eye to that photograph as well. And then buttons with the twine and everything I'm sticking down with some of my Nouveau glue, which actually this is the first time I've used Nouveau glue and I'm really liking it. I normally use Cosmic Shimmer um, glue but I've been having real problems getting it with the fine tip nozzle at the moment or they come to me and, and the nozzles, the fine tips are damaged and I have to send them back. So I thought I'd give Nouveau glue a try and I've been really really impressed with it so far. Um, sticks really really well and I love the fine tip on it as well. So and it also it's not blocked yet so that is a bonus. So it may be my new go-to glue there. So I want to add some dimension onto my page. So I'm just sticking up the corners of those leaves that I've added in around the florals with some foam pads. And then I did think about bringing in some of these chipboard pieces from Pear Tree Cut Files to go along with some of the Bramble Fox perspectives um, but that little rainbow unfortunately as you'll see in the end I didn't think it went it was too dark for me and I wanted to try and keep that tone on tone embellishing going throughout my page I could have painted it but I thought it would look a little bit silly painted all in one color so it, unfortunately it doesn't make the cut there we go so stash busting a few of my old Bramble Fox perspectives and adding some twine in on that little love charm as well that I've added there and that super cute hot air balloon that's just come to me with the new fox box. So just having a look through some more of my ephemera pieces there to see if I can add more to my page. I do like adding all the little bits. For me that's what I enjoy the most with my scrapbooking. One I have to love the photograph but I love all the little finishing touches just to um, add a few more details to my page. So using some of the super cute speech bubbles there, the hello and the say cheese and there's also a little um, white one that says sweet that I'm half sticking on top of that hot air balloon. I mean how adorable are they? And I don't know if you can see as well, which you will do in the close-ups at the end, those big button ephemera pieces actually have cute little faces on. They are absolutely adorable and that theme runs through the whole of this collection um, with little crafty icon stickers and that with little faces on. Oh my gosh, they are just adorable. I've absolutely love them and I've um, made a scrapbooking layout with this collection as well now and yeah they're just super cute really really love them so that will be up on my YouTube channel within the next week or so as well so keep your eyes peeled for that so thank you very much for joining me today this has been Vic for Lottie Loves Paper using the new Doodlebug cute and crafty collection if you've enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to my channel. That would be super helpful and um, it would mean the world to me. And you can find me on Instagram at Forever Scrapping. I'll leave you now to watch the end, a few finishing touches, and hopefully see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.